Right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 14, where we are going to be multiplying unit fractions by non-unit fractions. So that'd be like one-third times uh, three-sevenths and get the answer. Uh, we're going to continue that theme of uh, teaching how to get the answer in a way that's understandable rather than just teaching a, a rule that the students are supposed to blindly follow. So let's get going. So this question says, solve and draw a rectangular fraction model to explain your thinking. All right, so first thing, um, we're going to think of this as one-third of three-fifths, but we are going to keep in mind that this is three one-third times three-fifths. Those are the kind of the same thing, um, synonymous. Uh, but let's go with this thinking for a little while, one-third of three-fifths. So we're going to do one-third of three-fifths. Now, so first we're going to have to draw three-fifths. So one, two, three, four, five, and now we're going to shade in, let's see, three-fifths. So I'm going to shade in one, two, and three. So there's my three-fifths. So there's our model that represents, whoops, uh, well, I will use their pen. Three-fifths. All right, there's my model for three-fifths. Now, it says one-third of three-fifths. All right, so now one-third of three-fifths. So a couple of ways we can think of this problem. I'm going to show you both ways. Now, one, uh, just using logic, we can see that one-third of three. Okay, and I'm going to write this right here. One-third of three-fifths. So one-third of three is one. So one-third of three-fifths is one-fifth. So we could see the answer if F-I-F-T-H. Ah, this, one-fifth. So we could see that the answer, boom, right away is right here. One-third of three-fifths is one out of three. So it's, the answer is one-fifth. So we can immediately see that the answer is one-fifth. So if we want to, let's write that down. So the answer is one-fifth. So that's one way to think of it. Another way, which is more similar to what we were thinking about the last video lesson, is I'm going to go back to that three-fifths concept. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shade in my three-fifths. So there's one-fifth. Here's two-fifths, and then here's three-fifths. So there's my three-fifths. And then if we want one-third of three-fifths, we just go the other direction and we chop it up into thirds. And one-third of the three-fifths. So that's this entire chunk right here. So we can see that one-third of three-fifths is equal to, and now it's three little unit squares, one, two, three. It's three little unit squares out of 15 altogether, because if we counted all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Of course, a quicker way of doing that would have been just doing 3 times 5, right? So the answer is 3 fifteenths, uh, but we know how to simplify fractions. We could divide both the numerator and the denominator, in this case, by 3, and we would get 1 fifth, which is the exact same answer. So our students get, on this problem, a choice of how they're going to solve this. They have one-third of three-fifths, so that's just one out of the three. Or they can do this other way where they cut it horizontally and get your three, your one-third of three-fifths, so that ends up being three units out of 15. And then you simplify. So at this point, students can have a choice, or really, they, we want them to always be looking um, for which of the two methods is easier for any particular problem. Let's keep going. So we're going to practice this problem. So it says, of course, solve, draw a rectangular fraction model to explain your thinking. 
So we're going to think of this as one-third of four-fifths. And so our rectangle, first we're going to draw our, our four-fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's our five pieces. And we want four of those pieces shaded in. So let's shade in four of those five pieces. So there is our four-fifths. Now we want one-third of that. Well, the old, the previous problem, uh, we had an option where it was one-third of three, and we just take one of them. We can't do that here. So in this case, we're kind of limited in, our, uh, in how we do it, which means uh, we're just going to do that other, that that horizontal technique for what lack of a better phrase which is we're going to think of one-third of four-fifths as chopping it up horizontally into three pieces and one-third is right here so one-third one two three so here's one-third is all of these little four units right here so one-third is these four units and so, how many units are there all together? Well, there's three going up and down. There's five going across. So there's 15 little unit fractions all together. And one-third is four of them. So that's four out of 15. So the answer is four out of 15. So we could to be more mathematical, right? One-third times four-fifths is equal to four-fifteenths. We haven't taught students a rule. Uh, we're, we're showing them how to build understanding, and from that understanding, they're going to eventually see this beautiful pattern, this simple little rule. So let's do a word problem. So we've got Sarah has a photography blog. Three-sevenths of her photos are of nature. A quarter of the rest are of her friends, and that's kind of a tricky component. And what fraction of all Sarah's photos is of her friends? Support your answer with a model. So we're going to draw that model, and we're going to begin with this three-sevenths of her photos are of nature. So let's draw. Here's our whole collection of photos. And Sarah needs to, we need to cut that into seven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three-sevenths right here is of nature. So I'm going to put uh, right here, nature. But the question says, and this is the tricky part, a fourth of the rest are of her friends. So really what we've got is here's the rest. And a fourth of that is her friends. And we're supposed to figure out how many students or how many photos are of her friends. All right, so really what we're doing is we are finding a fourth of four sevenths. All right. So we have a choice here on this one because a fourth of four, uh, of one out of four. Basically, this is saying one out of four. Well, we have four pieces because really, at this point, we don't care about this anymore. We're only looking at what's rest, what's what's remaining, and we want one fourth of four. So one-fourth of four-sevenths. So we could think of that as one-fourth of four-sevenths. And that's one-seventh. So one out of four. And there's our answer right here, one out of four. So the answer is one-seventh, because there's seven total. So that's one way to think of it. Another way we could think of it is in the more uh, traditional multiplication technique, we could say one fourth of four sevenths is one fourth times four sevenths. 
And then what we would do is um, we could think of this four sevenths and chop it up into four pieces this way. All right. So one fourth. Now I'm going to draw the whole new picture again so that you can see fresh. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these three sevenths are of nature. So that's the part we don't, at this point, we don't really care about. We don't really care about that because what's rest is four sevenths. And we want to figure out one fourth of four sevenths. So what does that mean? That means we are going to chop this four sevenths into fourths, and we're going to go horizontally this time. And I'm going to make the ink a little bit thicker, and I'm going to go four sevenths, so I mean into quarters, into fourths. And that's going to go this way. And we have to go the whole t entire the whole entire way across. And one fourth is one of these rows. All right, one fourth of these rows, one out of the four rows, and that's four pieces. So one fourth of four sevenths is equal to these four pieces out of 28 pieces total. Little 28 unit fractions, because if you think about all these little unit fractions, there's four going up and down, there's seven going across, so there's 28 little unit fractions all together, so that's four twenty-eighths. But four twenty-eighths can be simplified because we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by four. And that gives us the answer one seventh, and that's the answer we knew all along. So on this problem, we had a choice. We saw, for some people, they see a shortcut. Oh, one-fourth of four is one. For other students, they're going to prefer to do the, this, what I call the horizontal technique, and chop it horizontally to get one-fourth of four-sevenths. All right, let's put this into practice. Um, this is our last slide of this video. So at Lorita's Bakery, three-fifths of the baked goods are pies, uh, and the rest are cakes. One-third of the pies are coconut, and one-sixth of the cakes are angel food. Um, so what fraction of all the baked goods at Lorita's Bakery are coconut pies? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're definitely going to draw a picture. There's just so many numbers and so much stuff going on. We're going to want to have um, a nice model to help us. So let's start with this first part. Three-fifths of the baked goods are pies. All right, so what that means is we're going to need a hole, and we're going to cut it up into five equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five. That's not very equal at all. Uh, that's what I love about math, is we can use our mind's eye to pretend or to see that they're equal, to imagine that they're equal. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and we're going to see that three-fifths three -fifths are pies. All right, three-fifths are pies, and the rest are cakes. So I'm going to write cakes, all right? And so that's two-fifths, all right? And so I'm going to go back to the question so we can see it. And it says, uh, let's see, and the rest are cakes. So going back, one-third of the pies are coconut. Okay, let's start there. So it's asking us, coconut pies. What fraction are coconut pies? So basically, we're trying to find out one-third of the pies are coconut. So that is one-third of three-fifths. 
because here's the pies, and that's three-fifths, and one-third of three-fifths, and that's what we're being asked to do. A couple of ways to solve it, and it's really cool if you could talk about this with all your students to get that richness of the mathematics going on instead of just saying, oh, yep, that's the answer, let's move on. So one way is at this point the students could have seen the pattern that we are now multiplying across that 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15. That's one way. Another way they could have done it is what I've been calling that horizontal technique. Saying, okay, if here's 3 fifths and the lines have been cut this way, now we want 1 third, so we're going to go the other way. And then here is 1 third of 3 fifths. So 1 third of 3 fifths equals these three little unit squares out of 15 total. So that's 3 out of 15. And 3 out of 15, 3 and 15 are both divisible by 3. So that equals 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And so there's our answer is 1 fifth. And oh, by the way, I should have because we can see that it's the same here. <laughs> 3 fifteenths, really? Come on. I should have reduced or simplified. Called that 1 fifth. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, there's other ways to do it. Uh, teachers, parents, uh, have conversations with the students about the variety of ways that they could get that answer as being 1 fifth. Now, this part B is a little tricky to read. It says, what fraction of all the baked goods... Um, um, are angel food cakes. So ostensibly, we're going to say if three, uh, let's see, we've got two-fifths are cakes, and it says one-sixth of the cakes are angel foods. So that's going to be one-sixth of two-fifths. All right, one-sixth of two-fifths. So if we wanted to model that, one, two, three, four, five. Here is our two fifths. Here's our two fifths. And we want to know one sixth of that. So we're going to chop it up into six equal size slices going this way. And one sixth is right here. And I'm going to zoom in because that's worth it. One sixth is this piece right here, one-sixth of two-fifths. So that's two little units out of how many units total, unit fractions total? Well, we've got six going up and down. We've got five going left and right. So that's two out of 30. So we're going to zoom out and zoom back over to here, and we get is equal to, so that's one-sixth times two-fifths, and we just decided that's equal to two units out of 30. Now, two units out of 30, that's a fraction that could be simplified because both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by two, so you get one-fifteenth. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 14, Multiplying Unit Fractions by Non-Unit Fractions. And we are looking for that pattern rather than just learning the rule.